I'm using PLA for support for that uh, sphere on that part. You can see the PLA all around it and then the PET-G in the middle. That's because I'm supporting basically the bottom half of that with zero clearance. I'm going to swap in heads. Going back to the pet G. I don't know why that's out. There we go. That doesn't like that pass in front of it. Doesn't know what to focus on. That's just the wipe tower. The little triangle part is a tapered post that goes into the bottom of it. It does two layers on each before it switches to minimize tool changes. This is the second layer of PETG and then it'll switch back to the PLA and do the next two layers and then switch back. Important, it's important too when you set it up that you have you have to set up in the slicer to have the PETG be the outer perimeter of the wipe tower because since they don't stick together real well, if you don't do that, you get a, your wipe tower can fall apart. That white is hard to see on camera. I know it's a lot like printing letters, but it's just kind of cool because when it's all done. I'll be able to just pop that, pop that right off the ball. I only supported it halfway up, so it probably doesn't go much higher. I probably didn't even need to support it that far. I just did it that far to be safe. Hopefully it doesn't make it hard to get off. Anyways.